Hey guys, this is John from Walkthrough Code. So in the last video, we talked about filters, uh, how to filter by value, and how to uh, create your own filter. In this video, we're going to talk about the HTTP service, which is a service that allows us to make API calls. Um, so let's go into here and let's scaffold out some stuff in HTML. Um, so we are going to... Let's just get rid of this. Actually, let's just delete this whole thing for now. Um, what we're going to do, we'll leave the filter in, but we're going to we're going to have a variable called posts because we're going to go make an API call to a post service to get a, get us all our stuff. Um, and then let's go to app.js. So we have this dot fruits. So this used to trip me up, and it trips up a lot of people. Um, and you'll see why in a minute, but we're going to say var vm equals this because because we're using this, we have to remember scope, the scope of the variable. And you'll see why in a second here. So we have this, I, I took the liberty of uh, injecting this thing called dollar sign HTTP, which is our HTTP service. Uh, what it does is allow us to make API calls. And so what, we, what we'll do to get it working is dollar sign HTTP dot get. It'll take one parameter, and that parameter is the, um, uh, is the URL. So we're going to say uh, we're going to take this and put that in there. And then we're going to say forward slash posts. And I happen to know that this is going to send me 100 posts. So then we'll say dot then because it this HTTP dot get returns a promise. And then it'll the callback function will give us our response object. And then in here, we're going to say vm dot, uh, vm dot posts equals um, response.data. Now, this is exactly why we needed the, the VM equals this. Because if we put the this there, this would totally break it, right? Because it's not in the right place. Um, it's, it's a separate scope. And this is one of those interesting parts of JavaScript. Okay, so let's save that. Um, and I think that should get everything working. So let's go over to our app page and refresh. And we have a bunch of nothings in there, which is exactly what should happen because I forgot to put the code in here. So we'll say title is um, post.title. And then here, this is body. And we'll say body.title, body for real, post.body. Um, and then let's refresh that, and there we go. So that is, um, wait, where's our body? There's our body, right there. Okay, cool. So um, that's really HTTP. You can also uh, do post requests, um, and to do that, you can do HTTP.post. Um, it takes the second argument, which is the, the uh, data that you want to send, um, but that's pretty much it. I'll just get rid of that so I don't forget about that. Um, that's really it for this video. If you have any questions or comments or suggestions, totally leave them in the comment area below. Um, we to or I totally appreciate uh, any likes, and if you want to see some more videos, totally subscribe. Um, if you want to get a hold of me on social media, the easiest way is through Twitter with John A2. Uh, other than that, I look forward to seeing you in the next, in the next video. We're going to talk about an exciting concept called services um, that's going to make life a lot easier and help us clean out and keep controllers slim. See you in the next video.